Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Okay, so it is hot as hell in here, but we'll just try to get through this video. Um, yeah, just try to get through this video. Okay, so before we start, we're going to, uh, well, this clip will introduce what we're going to do right now. Housekeeping. That's right, housekeeping. Okay, so if you were not here before, uh, we do a lot of different media oriented things. We break things down, we do reviews, we do reactions, we do uh, music reactions, we do uh, game uh, reactions. I want to do game reviews and eventually I want to actually do game plays, but we're getting a little ahead of ourselves. Uh, we don't have the equipment for that quite yet, but we can build on that as we go. Okay, so now that we got that out of the way, please like and subscribe uh, before we get right into the video. And yeah, without further ado, let's just hop right into the end card um, and uh, ignore the hot mess that is this whole thing. Will you push me, then you pull me back in. Don't know if I can decipher how your mind works. Yeah, you leave me wondering what it's like to feel your skin. I will keep on trying to. You give me a sign. Give me a sign. Oh, give me a sign. Baby, give me a sign. Just give me one more. You leave me hanging, begging for more. Think that I'm addicted to this, can't resist to be a little risky and go for it because I want you close. I'm so exposed when. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Okay, so today we're going to be reacting to, or not reacting, but um, we're going to be discussing Love Victor season two, episode one. Okay, so I, full disclosure, I've seen the entire series. It was a very long series for me. It didn't kind of flow the way that it was, um, it did in the season one uh, uh, wording for me is not coming, uh, but like it didn't flow as good as season one did for me, but that's okay. I kind of liked um how it is and I don't know if it was because I was tired and I was watching it at three in the morning but then again I was watching other things at three in the morning so really I don't really understand what happened with this season I'm watching it now and I'm watching it like episode by episode and honestly that is a better way that I can digest this series properly versus just trying to binge it all at once it is a very long and heavy storylines throughout the entire series or enti the entire season. Um, and it just can be repetitive and, and tiresome um, a lot of the times. But we are not recapping the entire series right now. We will be doing weekly kind of reviews slash like recaps of what this week's episode is. Uh, as in Canada, it is kind of releasing on a weekly schedule, um, and yeah, um, that's how I can do it legally in here. Um, but I did get other um, accommodations to see the entire series um, before it launched. So I do like that, and I did kind of get a feel of it, but now I'm just re-watching it to get a sense of how this episode, how these episodes are and how I can break them down for you. Okay, so episode one, season one. Episode one, season two. Uh, apparently we're taking a step back in time there for a second. Um, we start off with Victor. I was about to say Love, Simon. Oh, we're not doing that again this season. Okay, so we start off with Victor coming out to his family, um, which is ironically exactly where we left off with season two after the fiasco of just all of the events that happened in that season, um, or that episode actually, because that episode was quite doozy. But anyways, we kind of get the aftermath. The dad is kind of cold, but as we've seen in the trailer, 
we might see him in this season become more open, or at least it seems like that. So we, we don't see him as open, excuse me, as the trailer might suggest in this episode, but we're kind of getting there, you know? We kind of see the growth, we see a time jump um, after the, the opening song. Uh, it's like a 10 month time jump and school starts literally uh, Monday. So we kind of get the whole storyline of uh, the parents kind of still figuring out how Victor kind of fits um, being himself in their views and their religions and a lot of different things. I'm aware of how that sounds. It sounds very bad, but that's the nature of families nowadays, um, is the more people come out, the more people that are like, for example, Roman Catholic, I'm saying this as Roman Catholic because that's my family. Um, some of them had a hard time coming to terms with uh, me being who I am. But at the end of the day, like uh, the dad, Amondo says, Victor is their son and they have to love him no matter what. And I think that is the most powerful thing that you can kind of say and do in that kind of situation. So when we talk about Benji and Victor, for example, um, we kind of see them all being lovey-dovey within their kind of their own little bubble. So PLR knows, uh, the family knows, um, Adrian apparently uh, knows, um, Felix knows, Lake knows, Uh, I'm guessing Andrew knows because he's dating uh, one of uh, Benji's friends that uh, we have not seen before. So I'm kind of curious to know where the hell she was hiding. But, you know, that's a thing um, that kind of comes out of nowhere in the beginning of this season. But then we kind of also see um, the dynamic of, OK, so Monday school. Are we going to tell people? Are we going to be open? Are we going to be honest? And Victor decides that he wants to be open and honest. Then we also bring up the fact that he's never really been at the house uh, for dinner or Benji has never really been at the house for dinner. It has always been at Benji's place and they never really just had that time. So Victor invites Benji and the friends over for dinner. We kind of get to see them kissing on the street before they enter, I'm guessing because they didn't really want to make the mom uncomfortable. So they were trying to sneak a kiss in before they get in and, um, you know, they tried to ease her in as much as we can. However, it backfires. The mother, um, Isabel, sees and decides and in this blah, 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 blah. And Isabel decides that she's going to waste an entire thing of food. And I mean an entire, like, crock pot of food. Just why? If you really have that much of a disdain for your son being who you are, you really need to start checking yourself before you wreck yourself. Because seriously... you're wasting food and that's just that's just, that's just mean like just why 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 does it get to this point anyways the series does that for some apparent reason um but it's kind of realistic but then also kind of i don't see people wasting food like that i see them kind of kicking them out um and just kind of disowning them i guess they didn't want to go that route so they did kind of want to like have some sort of arc that can be redeemed with the mother, but often enough they are kicked out and they're disowned um, and they end up homeless. A large population of the US um, uh, 
homeless population are veterans and LGBT uh, people. So it's kind of interesting. Um, at least that's what I've been reading. I don't know as factual as that is. Uh, so take that with a grain of salt. Uh, it might have changed since I read that literally back in like a few years ago. So it could change, but it's just a kind of an interesting um, timbit to kind of make the form of how bad this problem actually is in real life. It is a really bad problem. But anyways, we kind of get that um, Pilar, uh, not Pilar, um, Lake gets a call from Mia. She is now home early, um, walks in on her parents kissing and finds out that's a whole bunch of baby stuff in her room. So that's kind of a fun thing to just kind of walk home into like, hey, surprise, welcome home. Your room is now storage. I guess you're sleeping on the couch now. But anyways, I'm touching on this moment because we get this huge genius line from Lake and I can't say it without any justice. So let me just pop Lake in here and let her say it. Queens before peens. I mean, you say the word and I will ditch these gays like a corporation after Pride Month. Yes, the iconic line of drop these gays like a corporation after Pride Month. It is hilariously, awkwardly true. A lot of um, corporations celebrate Pride, but then kind of forget that that's part of their um, customer fan base or customer base or any of that kind of stuff. So that's kind of an interesting take, but it's also very true. And we kind of get a stack of what Lake is going to be like this season. And if that is what she's going to be like, we're gonna have a lot more fun uh, with this season with Lake instead of just being her kind of figuring out herself. It kind of makes it so then she already has a self um, and she's just kind of playing around uh, with like her humor and just being a comedic uh, background. So that's kind of cool and I do like that. I think she's hilarious um, and I'm kind of interesting to see what more uh, the actress that plays Lake is in. So that's kind of cool. See if like it's the same kind of vibe. Um, but yeah, we kind of get that. And then we have the uh, discussion base of let's go to the lake house and just chill for the last night of summer. Um, so they end up doing that. Uh, lake asks Mia if she wants to tag along. Mia says yes, um, even though that it's going to be super awkward because Benji and uh, Victor are all going to be there uh, being all lovey-dovey. Um, also, Felix is going to be there. So this is just going to be an interesting dynamic. And if you thought that, then it'd be, you would be right. Because on the way to the uh, kind of the hangout with the fireworks and the very cute scenes of Benji and Victor um, and Felix and Lake kind of like being that like romantic, lovey-dovey, couple-y kind of feelings. I, the cutest moments ever in this entire episode is literally the end um, or close to the end. And it, on the way to that uh, train wreck, which is awkward all on its own, um, there was another awkward encounter right before she even gets on the road and she drives 33 minutes to just turn around. She picks up her food and who's standing, who is standing outside the restaurant? It is Andrew. Andrew has uh, kind of gave uh, Mia a care package uh, to get her through the summer and we kind of get 
Mia the sense that she likes him uh, by uh, the very end of the episode when we kind of flash back on all of the characters we kind of see her looking over the box but in this moment when she's getting her food she comes out she talks uh, with Andrew trying to ask questions like you know have you found where you are in this world and where you belong and she says not yet but then that moment is shortly shortly lived as she gets really uncomfortable um because of a romantic interest that came out of absolutely nowhere lucy um just kind of starts you know coming out of nowhere kisses um andrew and it kind of sends Mia uncomfortably in a spiral um, and she ends up leaving uh, with like, you can kind of feel the awkward tension in the, in the kind of situation there. So we, she gets there, she sees the couples, she leaves. But we end the episode with another Victor passion moment where he tells his mom that he would like uh, Isabel to start calling Benji his boyfriend. And it's one of those powerful moments. Um, and we end the episode with him walking off. This is a very high packed episode. There's a lot of like just uh, events that are just kind of stacked in there. Um, I wish that they were kind of a little bit more spaced out in like two episodes. Uh, just because, like I said, like the episodes in this season, they kind of just are stacked, but then like they have like filler episodes and then they just kind of stack them again and the filler episodes are hard to go by. Uh, and it's just this entire mess, but it's one of those things that um, I love this series and I love this season half to uh, death. And I just, I really love the storyline that the kind of gets. There is some episodes where I'm like, why are you doing this? You're feeding into stereotypes. But then there's other episodes where I'm like, this is amazing. This is kind of the representation that we need in the media. So it's kind of this love-hate relationship with this entire season. But I hope you enjoyed me recapping and kind of giving you my thoughts and feelings and relating um, kind of some of this material to real life and maybe my personal experiences. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys later. Goodbye, au revoir, peace out, and I will see you guys real soon. Bye guys. With us, it's all